Hi, I'm Davis. And I'm Andy. And we are the Game Grazers. Slowly Saints are on our way through games. Mm-hmm. Making a damn monstrosity. Yes, I am loving this. I, I have no idea what's even going on. Uh, I'm so just le- I'm leaving you to your terrible devices. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Go with our, our not anime anime character. That's totally inappropriate, barely legal. Yeah, I'm totally going in for this. And then let's get some colors in there. Blue. You want blue? Blue. Like that. Is that Cloud Strife Fish for you? No, it, in the infamous words of Strong Bad of Homestar Runner, when he made an anime version of himself, because you gotta have blue hair. <laughs> like, blue hair is the anime character <laughs> hair color. <laughs> oh, now the makeup. This is where it gets interesting, right? So if you want to go eyeliner, I was kind of thinking uh, Egyptian uh, Queen, Queen of the Nile. Well, it really does funky things because the eyes are so wrong. Okay, let's go like this. What's a good color? You want to go for like a... I don't know. Just... Let's get like that. Where the hell are you good. doing? And now, uh, here we go. This is where it gets really fun. Let's go with... Uh... Yeah, I like the melancholy. I'm going to give it kind of like a blood red sort of look to it. I am frightened. And uh, lipstick. We want to go black. Halloween was last month. Because once you go black, you never go back. Ah, jeez. And then uh, this gets you... Oh, that looks like blackface. Let's, I'd rather not. That's uh, not too so good. So the other one that's kind of fun here that I like a lot, Reptilian. <laughs> and I'm going for that. Okay. Oh, dear. That's a little that's bloody. That's horrifying. That's... Okay, so let's go nail polish. What's good n- nail polish for our freakish monster? Why don't we go with purple since that's the Saints Row color? Okay, we'll go with purple. There we go. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna insert some modicum of respect into this. <laughs> I failed this is miserably. So fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. We need to increase our brand awareness. Oh God. Hot dogs are so last century. Who the fuck is the police chief, and how do I get him on payroll? <laughs> I kind of want to do zombie. <laughs> oh, with a face like that. My next idea, strip of vision. It'd be like your own personal. Wait a minute. What do you think, zombie or the mail two? What's mail three? If there's money involved, I'm in. Nah. How come you can't buy stock in murder? I don't that shit. Um, I um, well, it's definitely got to be mail two or zombie. Yeah, yeah, I think we're down to mail two or zombie. Here, the rock paper scissors. If I win, it's mail two. If you win, it's zombie. Okay. So on three. One, One two, two, three. Up, you won. I won. So what did I say? You said mail two for All you. All right, mail two. Or mail two. Okay, now here comes the fun part. I do like the uh, house party. That's good. Let's do a house party and then the taunt. This is the best taunt of any game ever. Jerk off. All right then. Or, or it does get better. The other one I really like is the BBJ, BBBJ. Okay, which one is it? Uh. Hey, we just saw the other character do that one. Oh, this is a good one too. Let's go with that. Okay, we'll go with the belch. It's 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 nice. All right, you ready? Sure. About to take a dive here. I accept. I'm glad to hear that. Eh, a little saving time. Looks like I'm going to prison. Oh, look, and they happen to put me in the same cell as my buddies. Yep. Someone paid more. Well, my character's horrifying. It's terrible. Whose idea was this? It was your idea. Oh, shit, okay. Fuck story. You can blame all of that. On Andy. I have <laughs> nothing to do with that. I was on board with anime until he decided to go Reptile Queen of the Damned. Yes! Queen of the Damned. Oh, yeah! I think I just kicked the table. Nice. Oh, am I on a plane? Yes, yes I am. Are. Yeah, because we skipped all that boring story. Yeah, yeah, I kind of forgot that part. We're just here to have some fun. Is this like snakes on a plane? I have had it with these 
monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what's going to happen next. I wonder if I'm going to end up falling out of this plane. There is a very high likelihood of gravity. Oh, I should start picking up weapons. There we go. So I guess I already picked a weapon up. I didn't even know it. Oh shit. <laughs> In the face. In the face. I love playing casual. Oh man. Filthy casuals. I know. They ruin it for the rest of us. Well, you know what? Just fuck you. I'm going to take you as a fucking hostage, bitch. I like throwing hostages. It's fun. <laughs> Why? How they hit me through my fucking hostage? What's he made of? Fucking paper? He's made of meat. Fleshy meat. Very fast. Made of meat. <laughs> like meat boy. Oh my god. What? I had to shoot him through the fucking stairs, man. <laughs> Sorry, this game naturally makes me want to swear more. I kind of got the impression. By the way, if you haven't noticed in the month that we've been doing this show, uh, it's intended for mature audiences. <laughs> Mature or Johnny, immature? You're immature. And proud of it. I, I am aware of how proud of your immaturity you are. Yes. Gotta ch catch me some shandy. I mean, oh, what? it's important to be proud of yourself. You know, have, have some modicum of self-respect. And I'm comfortable in my skin. There you go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck? Oh yeah. Have not died yet? Why not? There we go. Also, how high up was that plane? Uh, judging by the amount of time it takes us to fall, either we're falling on the moon, or is it about like five miles up? I don't know. I think it was Virgin Galactic height. <laughs> so, there's this show on the, fuck? the kid station that my son watches. Oh, there we go. It's called Super Wings. Okay. Now, its intent is it, it's meant to be like a geography and culture show. Uh -huh. So it's just like this, like sentient kid delivery jet plane named Jet. And he's like, you have a package and you've got to deliver to, like, this part of the world. Uh-huh. It's a cute show and it's actually not that bad. But, there's certain like, it's not a science show, so I have to, like, give it leeway when it does bad science. But it's really hard not to. It's more for entertainment. It is. Like, the fact, like, because they always like part way through the episodes, like we have to call the super wings, and another plane comes. Like they're completely on the other side of the planet, it's like, and it's like an emergency that they they have to solve within like the next few minutes, and the planes <laughs> perfectly show up in time. Like even like propeller planes and helicopters. <laughs> like how the fuck does that work? <laughs> but I'm willing to give that a pass for the sake of entertainment. But there's like this one episode that comes on all the time where he goes to Hawaii, and like he he has to help this little girl get to her hula dancing contest. On another part of the island. Is that and, racist? No. Just saying. Okay, go I ahead. I don't think so. All right, all right. And <clears throat> partway through it, like, they have to, uh, they're like, they're going to pass by a volcano. But the way the characters treat the volcano is like, it's just like this random thing that occurs. <laughs> it's like, what's that? Is that a volcano? Like, it's like a storm off in the distance. It's like, oh no, it's about to erupt. Like, how do you know it's going to fucking erupt? <laughs> it's like, oh, we can stop it from erupting. And, like, the plane goes and, like, like picks up, like, a big canoe and dumps water in it to try and, like, see, like, calm the massing, seething caldera. That would be a hell of a lot of water to do that. That would require a hell of a lot of water. On to mention, in fact, if you dump, like, liquid water on hot molten magma, it's basically going to explode as it goes from you know, liquid to gas immediately. That's true. But then he has a fucking brilliant idea of dropping a giant fucking boulder on it. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck writes this show? Does, do these people not understand basic motherfucking geology? Hey, it, it obviously wasn't good old, uh, what's his name? Tyson. Dyson. Tyson? Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yes, that dude, thank you. I knew I'd get that wrong. I was thinking of Dyson, the dude who makes vacuum Vacuums. Who's probably very scientific, too. Yeah. But, so... Like, the way I just ran about the volcano episode, like, that was, like, my annoyance for the longest time. So the one episode I was like, okay, I, I cannot fucking buy into the bullshit that you're selling me on this island. <laughs> Until they had a new episode where they go to China and they help a little boy who wants to go, like, visit, like, the rocket launches. What? A little apparently, Chinese boy? Yeah, a little Chinese boy. And so they go there. And here's where this just gets fucking ridiculous. <laughs> is that 
they're there and the little boy's on a simulator that acts nothing like the way a fucking rocket works because like the simulator's like you push this button and the rocket goes I'm sorry no mission control sends the rocket up <laughs> not the fucking rocket itself wow ouch and, yeah and then and then so the little boy gets separated and somehow they go from the tourist area and he ends up on the rocket and then it launches and he goes in space. I'm sorry, the tourist area would be nowhere near the fucking rocket because have you been near rockets that are fucking loud as shit? I went and to school in Orlando. They spew toxic fumes. Yeah. I went to school in Orlando and there was one shuttle launch while I was there mm -hmm. and it's faint in the distance but you can hear the fucking thing from across halfway across the peninsula. <laughs> and that low rumble. And that, that bass. very low rumble. So they're fucking loud as shit. So so then the kid goes to space. How he got on the rocket, I have no idea. <laughs> and then and then the plane then then Jet calls his buddy who attaches a rocket to him so that he can go to space. I'm like, no, a plane that small is not gonna make it into space without shredding apart. <laughs> and then like he like gets him off the rocket, and then like, oh look, there's the space station. Maybe we can find an escape pod. I'm like, no, the rocket wouldn't be anywhere fucking close to the space station with them having just launched. That's right. And then they get in the thing, and then they re-enter the atmosphere. <laughs> Uh, so much wrong yeah as as a person who has played many many hours of Kerbal Space Program <laughs> and it fucking loves NASA that is a goddamn motherfucking travesty Ouch. I'm sorry Super Wings you're a cool show and I like you but but you need to work on your science yes. wait where am I going I so the wrong thing on the map. I think I'm I think I'm done with my my rant on Super Wings. On children's shows. I sure hope you don't watch uh, uh, Lazy Town, because that's a whole other set of fucked up. Actually, I like Lazy Town. You like Lazy Town? I like Lazy Town. Oh, fuck, it's a river. I, I don't know why I like Lazy Town. I, I think Those because it's just so fucking, fucking weird. Puppets are nightmare inducing. They are nightmare inducing, but for some reason I like it. I don't know why. Okay. Dude's got the worst. The bad guy's got the worst mustache ever. No, the good guy. Yeah. The, the Sporticus. Dude. Sporticus. Oops, sorry. Yeah, Copper. Sporticus. I, I think I think the reason I like Lazy Town is it's just so surreal. I mean, the creator and the guy who plays Sporticus, he's Icelandic. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So he created it. Yeah. So um, so that kind of explains just the general weirdness of it. Yeah. They're a little bit odd in Iceland. Yeah. I think they're, they're like the second oddest country after Japan. I mean, no wow. offense to either of those cultures, but the, from our standpoint, you're a little weird. But I love the weirdness. Yeah, well, it's quaint. Yes, it's a quaint kind of weirdness. Iceland. So explain me the difference between Iceland and Greenland. Iceland is its own country, and Greenland is... A sovereign country that's actually part of Denmark. Uh, wait, how does that work? How do you call it a sovereign country that's part of Denmark? It's sort of like the fact that England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland are their own countries, but they're part of the United Kingdom. Oh, uh, okay. They're, it's kind of that same thing. Yeah. It's a country that's part of another country. It's like half a country. It's, is that like Puerto Rico? <laughs> It's a state, but not a state. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Well, I think I just spent all my damn money. You know what else we you spent? The episode? All of our time. Uh, we will catch you next time on Game Grazers. Yes. You marvelous people, you. Aww. We love you. <laughs> or like you a lot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>